Hello, Team Scorpio. How are you? This is, I missed you all. So Scorpio, this is your love reading. If anything else comes up, I will be sure to let you know. We're going to get into your energies and then whoever is on your mind, whoever or whatever is coming towards you. Okay, let's get into it. I already shuffled, guys. I always pre-shuffle off of the <laughs> YouTube before I get on. So let's see, Scorpio, what energy is a Scorpio in spirit? Ooh, you're working hard, Scorpio. You are working hard. Okay. So Scorpio, you've been waiting for someone to reach out to you. I feel like you've been waiting for a long time. And some of you might say, hey, I'm not waiting. Okay. Um, in the back of your head, you could just be wondering why this person hasn't reached out to you. Okay. This is someone who you felt a very intense, strong connection with. Um, Capricorn energy, it doesn't have to be. But you are, you've been really focusing on work lately or whatever projects, maybe school, um, maybe you went back to um, university or something like that. I'm getting here. Whatever it is that you are working on is distracting you from the fact that this person hasn't reached out to you, okay? Um, you could be at the point where you're just like, you know, should I give up? What should I do? It's that kind of energy. But this is someone who you're very attracted to, okay? So if you have someone in your mind, you're like, yeah, I don't want them. I'm not attracted to them. No, this is somebody who you felt such like passion and intensity with, like someone that draws you in, okay? Like they're, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I'm getting over being sick, Um. Like there's maybe some kind of sickness, I mean, um, some kind of sickness. Okay, spirit, what is going on? You could be sick, Scorpio, or this person is sick right now. I don't know if that matters if they are. But this is someone that there is like this burning flame that you felt and they felt, okay? So let's get into... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. Okay. This is what I'm getting. Hold on. So guys, this person here, Scorpio, you've been, okay. You know that things ended weird between you and them. Okay. It's awkward. It's weird. Okay. And maybe it ended like, or you guys disconnected improperly is what I'm hearing. And it's like you felt like they're going to come back, but they haven't been back, okay? You know that this person has to take a leap of faith and come to you because it's so awkward the way that you disconnected that it's like you know that they would need like, you know, the balls to come back to you. It's that kind of energy, right? Balls, guts, call it, call it whatever you want, Scorpio. Okay, so let's get into the person's energy. Let's see how this person is feeling at this time. What's going on with them, Scorpio? Okay, hold on. Spirit, tell me, tell us, the viewers, how this person feels. What's going on with them right now? Oh, yeah. Scorpio, this is someone who made who made a move to <coughs> You know what it feels like? It feels like this person abruptly disconnected from you, okay? And now how they feel is like they're not happy about it, okay? I feel like at the time, hold on, Scorpio.
sorry guys, I am getting some water because I'm all choked up. Um, this person here, Scorpio, they left your life abruptly, okay? They made like a decision um, on the whim and they know they kind of snuck out of your life. They did not give you an explanation, okay? Now, for those of you um, that are like, oh, I got the explanation, it's not clear, okay? It was not clear, and you know it, Scorpio. So a lot of you, this person just disconnected from you. They did not give you a reason. Like I said, they did not justify why they're doing what they're doing. And now this person... When they look back to it, it's like that's the best they could do at that time, considering whatever that was going on in their life, okay? Now, I don't know how long ago this person left. I'm getting four months, so it could have been like November time, um, maybe around your birthday, after your birthday for your Scorpio sun signs. But a lot of you thought this person, okay, you know, they'll be back. You know, some of you, I'm getting three months, <clears throat> three, I'm getting the number three. Um, that might be significant. But this person right now, Scorpio, they're regretting what they did. They're regretting, A, not handling it the way that they should have handled it. And B, it's like, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. They, um, they are thinking about you heavily. They're in their feelings and they're drinking. Okay. Um, I see someone drinking, so they're kind of in their feelings and like, why did I do what I did? I know why I did it, but I could have handled it better. Um, this person is hiding something from you that happened at the time they disconnected from you. It's like something they had issues with um, handling. Okay. I just heard on the rocks. So yeah, this person definitely might be, um, they were going through a rough karmic cycle. Okay. And I feel like they're their world felt like it was crashing down on them, okay? So this person, instead of saying like, hey, I'm going through something, um, I need to handle this, I need to fix this, I need to take care of this. It's like they just suck out of your life, okay? And now um, they're looking at the issue, they're, they're judging this, okay? Because now it's like, I want Scorpio back. I want you back, Scorpio. But what do I do? Do I reach out to you? Are you going to accept me? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Okay. We got five of swords in the bottom. So Scorpio. This could also be that you were like trying to disconnect from this person or you, you knew something was off when you were communicating with them and they felt you pulling away. So it's like they pulled the plug. <coughs> but now it's like they want you back, Scorpio. And this is you. So now they're viewing you as the high priestess. They know you're, you're, you know what's up. They know that, um, they think that if they come at you, you might cut them off. You might be hostile towards them. It's like, like a queen of swords energy where it's like, oh, I got that beep. That was a confirmation, Scorpio. So this person here is it doesn't matter what gender you are guys okay you know i don't know if i have to tell scorpios i don't think so but this is someone who's like well if i did whatever i did um <clears throat> yeah this person looks at you as you're they know you know what's up like they know 
you're psychic, they know you're powerful, they know how you observe things. And it's like they want you back, Scorpio. This person is also having some type of like a sweet memory you both share together. Um, I'm seeing conversations that you had. And they're just like, wow, Scorpio is amazing, right? But it's, it, you know what I'm hearing? I, I know you felt it, okay? So you and this person have some sort of a spiritual bond together. And it's like, they know that there's so much potential between you and them. They know you're their soulmate. Excuse me, guys. I thought, like, I can't take off more time from YouTube because I want to give you guys readings. So I'm still coughing. I'm still sick. So um, this person feels like they lost you, Scorpio. Okay. Now, this reading is getting a little more complicated. For some of you, this person ghosted you or they blocked you. Okay. So you were left without answers, Scorpio, and you took off. I mean, you are focusing on work, projects, whatever. Um, yeah, see, everything got so heavy at that time. Whenever they disconnected from you, something else was going on. This is about, I just heard trio. I don't know what that means, but... They could feel like every part of their life was not going correctly, okay? So this person also, um, I just heard like somebody who might have three businesses and it was like three things they, or three gigs, okay? And it was just getting very overwhelming. Something happened and uh, they're just like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Like, that's what I'm getting. I can't deal with this right now. So they dropped you, Scorpio. Yeah. <coughs> but they think, like I said earlier, they think you're amazing, Scorpio. This is you. You, they view you as the most, like, You've got everything going on for you, Scorpio. It's like you are they know that you would make a great partner. Okay? Let's just say that. They think that you would make a great partner, okay? So let's see what this person wants from you. I know that this person wants to speak with you, but I feel like it's like, you know, it's crazy. It's like they want to override the communication and just see you. What does this person want from Scorpio? Wow. Okay, this person wants you not to reject them. Okay. Um... Look at this, King of Cups. So this person wants you in your lovey-dovey energy. They don't want you to hold back from them. Wow. Yeah, they don't want this to be over, Scorpio. So this person here... Um, they, I feel, want to explore what the future would be like together. What's something that is long-term would be like together, okay? But I still see this person resistant to reach out to you, okay? Why are they still resistant? Because they're scared, obviously, but why else, spirit? What is? What else can you tell us about this person? Yeah. Okay, this person I just heard that 
they're they know they they've been isolating themselves right so some of you like i said they might have ghosted you um it's like they want to come with clarity they want communication with you but they're kind of scared that you're gonna question them and they might not be ready to like really get deep into what was going on in their life okay Scorpio and um because of this I feel like they're holding back yeah see this person knows they owe you an explanation they know you're gonna want an explanation and that's what's holding them back because it's like what do I say to Scorpio um do I have to share everything is Scorpio going to be okay if I don't have to tell them everything, you know? Um, Libra energy. Um, so this person now, I feel, is... I feel like they're making a judgment to reach out to you, Scorpio. Am I getting this right? Spirit. Yeah. Yep. See, this person took a long time. They took a long time, okay? This is somebody who is level-headed. Um, they know that, like I said, it's not the best way that they disconnected from you. They know that, okay? And they're really feeling it heavy now because they're, like, like I said, they're drinking over this, okay? Bourbon, whiskey, whatever. Um, something spicy um, that they're having. I remember this drink, cinnamon. It was like a cinnamon whiskey. It was really good, actually. But anyways, um, <laughs> I have to put that out there, Scorpio. I love cinnamon stuff. Um, spicy stuff. This and chai latte, yeah. Um, this person now, it's like they want open communication between you and them. Um, but I, like I said, they're approaching you really slowly. This person might be an Aries. I just saw a Ram in my head or Taurus, or they could have those placements in their chart. Spirit, what else do we need to know about this person? They could have, um, if they're a male, they could have, a like a facial hair. Yeah, see, they don't know how you're going to accept them, Scorpio. They're really scared about that. They don't know if you're going to be happy or they don't know if you're going to be like... You know, I'm blocking you, right? So this person doesn't know if you're going to receive them as good news or you're going to be like, ugh, you again... Like, the audacity, you have to come back. You know, it's that kind of energy. Yeah, see? They're scared, Scorpio. They're so scared you're going to break their heart. Um... They're like gathering up the courage to reach out to you, okay? So, uh, they're in limbo, Scorpio. They're definitely in limbo because it's like they want to reach out to you. They want to resurrect this connection. They think that there's great potential between you and them, like for long term. Um... I'm seeing flowers. You know what I'm seeing? Peonies. You know the flower peony? I love those. Gorgeous. I love those. And they're like seasonal here in the States. So, yeah. Yes. 
So it's like they're scared of what this could be. But this person really wishes Scorpio. Like this person is fantasizing about you. Um, they want to take you out for dinner. They want to like spend time with you. This is the lover's card. But they're so scared that like you're not going to accept them. Yeah. They're scared you're going to have your guard up, Scorpio. And it's like, I want my sweet Scorpio. I just heard sweetheart. This person thinks you're really sweet, Scorpio. And it's like, they've had this for a while. They've wanted to come through for a while. But I feel like now it's like really hitting them hard. And um, it's hitting them hard how they disconnected from you. That's why I see this person drinking. I see them actually watching a sunset and thinking about you. Yeah, see? This person, I'm telling you... Um, They're really wondering right now, like, is are there other people? Do I have competition? They're really overthinking this coming in and reaching out to you. Yeah. Wow. They want to know if you are waiting for them. Like, are you waiting for them or have you moved on, Scorpio? An ace of cups is on the bottom, okay? The, you know, this person could also be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, whatever sign that they are, this person wants to come forward, Scorpio, but they're in limbo about it. They keep going back and forth. Should I, should I not, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? So they're, what the biggest probability is what I'm hearing when it comes to the outcome of this situation is if they... If they reach out to you, okay, or whenever they reach out to you, it's going to be very impulsive, okay? It's not going to be, like, strategized, okay, what do I say, whatever. It's going to be, like, maybe they will have, um, what is it called, liquid courage to reach out to you. It's going to be like, okay, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to text Scorpio. I'm, I'm not going to, like sit here driving myself crazy about whether Scorpio is going to reject me and break my heart or be sad that I reached out to them or be mad at me or whatever it is. Okay. So it's going to be, it's going to be the same thing, right? The way they left abruptly and, you know, impulsively is going to be the same way they come back. Okay. So yes, yeah, Scorpio, this is for you. I hope this helped. If it has, don't forget to like. And let me know in the comments how you resonate with this reading. I wish you all the best as always. And peace out, Scorpio.